Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the Nerd Onslaught bringing you part 13 of Amnesia the Dark Descent here. So as you can see we are still in the sewers. Lovely lovely sewers. So I hope I remember what I looked up that I'm supposed to do. Uh, just because I'm gonna try and get through this game not as quickly as I can. So I enjoy it, and I'm probably gonna do bad in some of the harder parts, of course. But it's definitely I'll, I'm excited to get to the next thing. Uh, I've pretty much decided I'm gonna play Smite. I'm gonna do some Smite as my next videos, and it probably won't be too many. I'll probably do like a couple and then move on. Ooh, Tinderbox. Thanks. But yeah, so I'll do like a few videos. And then, oh, how do these lose? Oh, can I pick that up? Thanks. But yeah, so I'm gonna do like a few videos of Smite. I might do just like six videos. So kind of, for me, that's two weeks. And then I'll probably move on. And then I'll just revisit whenever you know I'd like, or if you guys request it, anything like that. So I'll do that, and then I think after those videos, I think I'm gonna do like Sakura Spirit. So that'll be fun. We'll just have a good time. Oh, I have to. Okay, we've made it through. worried because from what I remember about reading this part, this next session is going to be really hard. And I don't want to deal with it. But you know. I definitely like, kind of the one thing but just before we go in here, one thing is that I kind of feel that quitting on games, unless I get absolutely stuck. Like if I get stuck and I already have no motivation and I'm stuck and I'm not very far in a game, then I'll give up. But it's like I have a feeling we're probably about like 80% done. Uh, oh lovely. And it's not so much getting stuck. I'm just have a little down on the motivation side lately, so I don't exactly want to quit over that. Whoa! No thanks. Can I pick up that though? Thanks. All right, let's run. All right. No duck, 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 duck. Oh, come on! Woo! Hmm. Don't stand in the goopy stuff. Not a fan. Ooh, here we go. Um, this way, I guess. Nope, that didn't work. So I tried, like I have to be able to go somewhere, I'm just not sure where. And obviously we're at the point where like a single one of those will kill me. So maybe let's not try going to the left, let's try going this way. Go around this way. Actually, I'm not hearing anything this time. 
Which that's a pleasant surprise. Maybe they just decided that killing me twice was enough. Okay, here's a door. This is not... No, please, please, please. Just let me up the ladder. Let me up the ladder. Let me up the ladder. Oh. No, thanks. You can stay down there. Oh. My goodness. Oh. Great, I even got a look at it this time. Mm, no, thank you, no, no, no. Okay. This looks nice. Or not. Oh, what's in here? Okay, that door won't budge. Good to know. What about this door? I'm gonna leave that closed. Ooh, this door's already open. That means good things, right? <laughs> Alright. That room's now useless. There's some lovers in here. More tinder boxes. Oh. 9th August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Daniel, you're kind of stupid. Also, well, I'm pretty sure I have to just flip both these switches. I also got my New Day shirt today. This is the brand new one they just released on the Unicorn for anyone in the WWE -E, uh, fandom there. Because they are honestly... Something must be wrong with the machinery. Okay. So something has to be wrong with said machinery. Alright. I don't got it, but I got it. Hmm. Can you fix it? <laughs> okay. So we will say that that's not working, and that door won't budge, and that's rope I can't pick up. Let's try this door. What do I have? Nine. Not too bad. Whoa. This place is kind of freaky. Not so sure if I quite like this. The only reason why I'm being a little, like a little more liberal with my uh, lantern right now is because of the fact that there was one of those canisters of oil back in the other room. Let's just take a peek. There's moaning and groaning. I'm not quite a fan of that, but. Oh, lovely. No, thank you. Let's see again. Yeah, whoever you are, you can stop that. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes. Soon I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. 
I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Okay. Ah. Well, I'm not going to the laboratorium. This is more my question. Is basically a benefit, but I guess that's why I hope. It could be reached by another, but Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Okay. Really? Then if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken wall and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transfer. You should be able to find them there. Hi. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna explore a bit more down here. What if I wanted me to pull that lever? Didn't really seem to do anything. What is this? Okay. Is it the same with this door? Okay. Let's just keep on exploring. Hmm. Should I explore more of these doors? I'm not even 100% sure where I am. Oh! Apparently I'm off to the chancel. I have no idea what's in the chancel. I'm just apparently off to it. There's a lot of lights here, so I'm going to turn off the lantern. Yeah, I'm going to use that, actually. Pretty cool looking picture right there. Huh. Alright, what's this way? Let's just find out what these three doors, and then I'll probably end it for today, and we'll find out where we want to go next time. Okay, or not.
Okay. Twelfth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Jeez, Daniel. Like, like that? Ooh, what is this? I picked up a bucket of tar. All right, that's gonna be useful for something, right? Do I want to go down the stairs? Sure, why not? Wonder if the bucket of tar will make it. No. Nope. Solid metal in good shape. This is of no use. All right, but for now, I will pick up this. Okay, okay. I guess we can go see what the door on the other side does. Uh, it's so it's so strangely peaceful in this like green lit room. Alright, how are we doing in here? Is there a note? Yes. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa, I've depended on it for my research. The incident with Wilhelm made me most impetuous. Fearing a, a, a paucity of prisoners, I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six parts. I've tried everything, but I've yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. There is still life in the pieces, and even if the orb isn't restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? Sustain, not sustain. Alright, alright. Ooh. What is this? Dark magic? Do I want to try All right. That seems to be the table where he performs his... Well, this is probably the ritual table. In all honesty. Hiya! Oh, good shot, me. Good shot. I'm gonna destroy this magic lamp. Well, those are the two side ones, so I guess where I'm actually going is down there. But we are going to end it off here, and in the next video, we're going to go down that hallway and see where that door leads us. So thank you guys for checking out this video, and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated, as well as make sure to check out my other channel, Perfectly Calm Gaming. Uh, this goes up. We will actually be starting Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, as well as uh, continuing Sonic Generations. So, remember, this is the Nerd Onslaught signing off here. Remember to rock out with your nerd. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!